How's it guys? Uh, in this video, we are going to have a quick look at a behind the scenes style of video. Uh, this is behind the scenes of the podcast that just happened. Now, a little bit of context here. A couple of days ago, Gareth Cliff invited me onto Cliff Central just to talk a little bit about YouTube, about how much YouTubers earn, and a little bit of the basics on getting started and equipment. So, I obliged. Thank you very much for that, Gareth. It was really awesome. And, um, you know, after the show, I kind of thought, well, let me share with you guys what this looks like. I mean, all you can basically see, I mean, I'm looking into the camera now and you can just see this behind me. But what else goes into it? Camera, lighting position, what does the room look like around us? Um, a couple of the other things on the table here. Uh, stick around, that's what we're going to look at now. Taking a step back, you can now see roughly what is going on here. Uh, we'll have a closer look at each thing now, but we've got basically a key light over there. I've got a screen over here, which my my computer is being mirrored onto. The camera would normally be there. Uh, microphones on mic stands, we've got a table, and all of this stuff around here is sound paneling or acoustic treatment. And then there's some, uh, there's some ambient lighting behind me, and of course there's this overhead light. Looking at the setup from the other side of the room, we can see it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, this gives you a little bit of a better understanding of what is happening behind me, where we've got uh, a bit of ambient lighting shining onto the back of the wall, a little bit of colored lighting there, just to separate uh, myself or, the, or your talent from the background. Touching on the first thing, and arguably probably the most important thing, is the lighting. Um, so we've got a softbox light here, we've got an LED panel shining as a key light, uh, at about 30, 45 degrees onto my face. The softbox light has got a nice big opening at the front and um, it basically just gives you a nice soft light onto your talent or the person that is sitting on the chair. You'll also notice that overhead here we've got an overhead light that was basically just used to give the top of my head a little bit of light. Now, uh, this depending on what you're going for, uh, you could also use a full light as I, as I mentioned before. You'd put that on the other side of your talent or the person and it just fills in a little bit of the shadow on their face. Um, and then this overhead light, uh, you could sometimes refer to that as a rim light. Now that a uh, rim light, you'd kind of put more behind the person and it would shine maybe a little bit on their shoulders and the back of their head and that would also separate them from the background. Just depends on the look that you guys are going for. The other two lights that I have set up here in the background, uh, one of them is just a blue LED tube and uh, that's just to give a bit of color to the background. And then also just this little LED light that's shining on the wall and on the background. And basically this is gonna create a bit of depth or it's gonna separate myself or your talent uh, from the background. And it just makes that picture just look a lot more pleasing to watch. The camera I have set up on a tripod and it is set up at about a height that it looks directly into my eyes when I'm sitting on the chair. At the moment, I've got my cell phone plugged in just to show you guys what it looks like. And from another angle, well, basically behind the table, that's where our camera was set up. I've currently got my cell phone up there and this is where I was sitting. Now, as a reference, that is my cell phone and that is the picture that you are currently looking at. Just keep in mind that um, the lighting is not exactly optimized for the cell phone. I just threw that up there really quickly to give you an idea of what it could look like. You can get away with cell phones as long as you've got the correct lighting. So that's the basic lighting and camera setup. For today, I had two microphones set up, our main microphone that I was starting off with, and then I introduced a second microphone as a bit of a reference. These two microphones are standing on just standard microphone stands, nothing special, cables all going underneath the table, and they lead into this device. So this is a Zoom F6 field recorder, and it basically allows you to record really high quality audio. Now my two microphones are rooted into this device, and I'm mixing them, and then I'm sending the audio from this device into the side of the camera. Now you guys don't need this uh, as a bit of a side note. You can feed your microphone, depending on what you've got, uh, feed that directly into your camera or directly into your computer. Um, but that said, I've got this device and that's why I'm using it at the moment. So our microphones are both plugged into the field recorder and the field recorder is outputting sound out of here. And then we are gonna plug this 
into the microphone input jack on the camera. Now currently there is another microphone plugged in here and that's so that you can hear what I'm talking about. But during the podcast, this was plugged in. Now, like I said, uh, you can feed your microphones directly into your camera if you want or possibly directly into your computer. Once the camera has got its audio, then uh, it, of course it's, it's also taking video and that video and audio need to be sent to your computer. So that's what this cable is at the top here. This is the HDMI output, so the video and audio feed which is being sent to our computer, being captured through a small capture card and then streamed out onto the internet. So that's the basic lighting camera and audio setup that we use for today's podcast. Now some of you may be also asking, what is that stuff up on the wall, those big gray panels? So these things are acoustic panels or sound panels and they help control the echo and the reverb in the room. Uh, not super expensive if you make them yourself, cost about 100 rand each. Uh, there is videos on my uh, on my channel about how to make them um, and this is a very underestimated part of a studio is controlling the sound uh, it makes such a difference to the quality of your content you would have probably also seen them around the front of the camera let's give you a closer look so I've got another set of acoustic panels set up in front of me um, the camera was normally over here where I'm standing and I would be sitting on that chair facing forward, so facing in the direction that you guys are looking now. And I would be talking basically into these acoustic panels. And that's just also going to control some of the reverb and the echo that happens in these smaller and sometimes larger rooms. And last but not least are these acoustic sound blankets I have hanging over the window. This is quite a very underrated piece of equipment, by the way. Uh, this also helps with controlling a bit of the reverb and uh, also with the light in the room. Now, uh, I open and close these things as I need to create more or less light or more or less rever reverb or echo in the room. And they're just basically hooked onto a, an old curtain rail. So that was a basic overview or behind the scenes, if you will, of the studio setup and the equipment that I used for today's podcast with Gareth and the team on Cliff Central. Now, if you did miss that uh, podcast, go check it out. I will put a link in the description. It was really fun talking about how much YouTubers earn and a little bit about the equipment and getting started. Really, really fun. I like always sharing the knowledge that I've got and that I've gained over the little bit of time that I've been doing this. Now, I do realize that I made this video really quickly. I may have skimped over one or two things. Not a problem. Leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know if there's specifically anything that you guys want to know about. I'll try and get back to you and uh, possibly even try and make a video about it. Uh, also, like, subscribe, and as I mentioned already, comment. It really does help me with the video. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.